We love our man Paddy Cripps. We all know that. What we're going to do in this video today is have a look at the top five uh, contested ball winners or midfielders in the competition. Cripps is obviously in that. He's the best player in the competition, according to me. Uh, but Dan, take us through a little bit about where Cripps stacks up against the other four around him. So what we've got is we've got the five. So these are the ones with the highest rating of on-ball stats that are calculated through Champ Starter. So we've got five, Oliver, Cripps, Neil, and Ben Cunnington. Surprise, surprise in faith. He's a very good player. If you speak to a North Melbourne fan, they will tell you the best player in the competition. <laughs> so, I mean, we look, and he stacks up really well. So, I mean, if we look at the first stat calculated, actual true effective disposal. So, I always think this is more important than disposals. Any idiot can get 40, yep. but how do you, well do you use them? And we can see Fife and Oliver, 20.8. Cripps, 20.2. Lockie O'Neill, though, just killing it, 24.8 wow, wow. so, and 21.2, respectively, for Cunnington. So you can see Cripps right on the medium of the top five there. But Neil, for me, is the best on-baller in the comp this year by, by miles, yep. followed by Nat Five. Yeah, fair enough. Um, but that's how it works. Then you look at the contested numbers, and this might surprise some people. Five, 17.4. He is the leading contested possession for Gadda. Most okay. people look at Cripps. Yep. But you look, Cripps has got exactly the same as Lockie Neal. How much is that? 16.3. 16.3, wow. So you can see this is how good Neal's been. Like, yeah. this is no detriment to Cripps. This is how good. Yeah. I think Neal's really underrated by the AFL media itself. I think he's been phenomenal this year. But, I mean, this is where Cripps does show us some things that the others don't. Like, we know he's a tough player. Yep. His pressure acts, his goals to game ratio, he is joint highest with that 5 from point seven. He's really added that repertoire. So, last year, he was kind of one-dimensional, I would say. He was that, that thug, that tough guy. This year, he's starting to show us that he's got that little ballerina pattern to him now. He can bit of balance around. on his bit of balance on his feet. He's yeah. getting around players. Around, kick kicking snags. goals. Yeah. And we look at the TPI and that's reflected. So we can see that the his second best player in the comp that five is via TPI at 15.27. So he's just been snared by Kelly. Well, there you go. So Kelly, but you can see Cripps really does stack up 13.05. So on our on TPI is telling us that he's the third best player in this selection, just behind Neil and Fife, which I think is a fair reflection. I would say Neil and Fife are above Cripper for what they bring to their team. Yeah. I don't think Cripps impacts the scoreboard enough. To, and Compared to the others. Yeah, and recently in the last couple of weeks, he has been quite quiet, and that's where TPI affects him. Yeah. So that's just as it stands at the moment. That's he not, does have the ability. I mean, all it's really going to take is just comes out this week, has his 35 touches, 18 contested possessions, two goals, 11 clearances, and... Has a, what, what was his TPI in that Brisbane Lions game? Oh, it was the 38, wasn't it? 38.65. I mean, so something like that just really skyrocketed. But it's interesting, if you go back to that week, he was the best player in the comp. Yeah. So that actually knocked him in the best, and he's slowly gone down. Okay. And I think that's a reflection on him playing slightly injured. Not, yeah. I think we know Cripps full form. He should be smoking these guys. Yep. Absolutely. Interesting conversation. Where do you rank? I think, I mean, the fact that he's in this conversation in the top five bracket, that's just so good for us. We oh, huge. I mean, you think all them teams are going to play finals. Yeah, exactly right. So where do you see Cripps uh, amongst the rest of these other contested bulls? Full respect to all of them. They're all great players in their own right. Um, how do you see Cripps stacking up against them? Do you think he's better? Do you actually think that Lockie Neely is the best player in the competition? Let us know in the comments below.